last May 9, Topaz Photo AI 4 was released. In this video, we're going to be running through all the new features, and at the end of the video, I'll tell you whether you should upgrade. The first new feature is its most significant, dust and scratches removal. Topaz says this is a first model of its kind and built to handle one of the most time-consuming tasks in photo restoration. As a reminder, dust and scratches are imperfections that may look like irregularly shaped spots or bright or dark lines, typically found in older photographic prints. To demonstrate, let's work with this antique photo, which has imperfections of the dust and scratches type. To use the tool, I'll choose the enhancement. And just like that, the dust and scratches are removed. By the way, one nice touch of this tool is the inclusion of a healing brush, which allows for manual fine-tuning of the results. Here is the before and the after. Here is another example. The second new feature is a better autopilot interface. As a reminder, autopilot is Topaz's AI-driven feature which automatically analyzes and fixes photo problems like noise, blur, and low resolution faces without the need for human intervention. And this is a necessity for batch processing. Unfortunately though, in previous versions, the workflow for autopilot was rather unintuitive. For example, in the previous Topaz Photo AI 3, just to enable it, you had to go to Preferences and toggle the Automatically Apply Filter switch to activate the feature, which seems to be too many steps for this core functionality. Also, there was no clear label anywhere in the main interface to indicate the status of autopilot, whether it was on or off, and this can easily confuse users. Well, the good news is, this issue has been addressed in Topaz Photo AI 4. Now, after initial installation, a dialog is automatically presented to ask for your preference whether you want to enable autopilot for all your images. In addition, a new autopilot switch is now prominently displayed in the right sidebar, no more fiddling through menus or wondering whether the feature is on or off. Bravo! The third new feature is more intelligent selection in autopilot. This new feature has to do with sharpening. In the previous version 3, autopilot would always set the sharpening to only the subject, which would make sense for portrait shots as you normally want to create separation between the subject and background by keeping the bokeh soft, but not so sensible for landscapes where you would want to keep consistent detail throughout the whole image, as in this example. In version 4, this issue has been rectified. Now, when a landscape image is detected, sharpening is now set to the entire image, as you can see here, while subject-only sharpening is reserved for portraits. Another improvement to autopilot is it is now more discerning in the amount of face recovery applied. In the previous version 3, face recovery strength was mostly constant at around 80%, no matter how the face appeared in the image as in this example. In the new version 4, the strength of the face recovery is now more variable. As you can see here, when a large face is detected, face recovery is now set lower, 40 in this case for this lower resolution image, and even lower 20 for this high resolution image to lessen the chances of automatically over-processing an already well-formed face. The fourth improvement is face recovery controls. In Topaz Photo AI 4, you now have more control on what is included in face recovery. To demonstrate, let's apply face recovery on this image. As you can see, it gives a pretty good result. On the other hand, looking closely, some might take exception to the way the hair was handled, which some might find too unnatural. Well, in Topaz 4, this problem is now rectified with the addition of new controls. I'll toggle 
include hair and neck to off. And there you go, the hair is now excluded in face recovery, producing a more natural looking result. The fifth improvement is changes to the processing order. In Topaz 4, the processing order of the edit stack has been changed to process from bottom to top, where the most recent processing now appears at the top of the list. In previous versions, the processing order was from top to bottom. Topaz says this editing flow is more intuitive and more consistent with other editing applications. So there you have it, the five new features of Topaz Photo AI 4. Should you upgrade? Well, if you're coming from version 3.6, unless you are into photo restoration and find the dust and scratches tool particularly useful, I would say no, just because most of the improvements are really minor, which don't significantly enhance app functionality. So you're really practically getting the same app as version 3.6. On the other hand, if you're coming from a year-old version of Topaz, say version 3.0, it's important to note that Topaz has added quite a number of features in the past year, including Super Focus version 1 and 2, Adjust Lighting version 2, Cloud Rendering, and more that can make an upgrade to version 4 more worthwhile. So I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know what you think of Topaz Photo AI 4. Are you going to be using the new Dust and Scratches tool? write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.